Hey there, and welcome to the 2018 Santa Slipper Crochet Along. Together, you and I will crochet a pair of slippers that'll keep our toes toasty warm this season. The pattern and supplies list can be found at behopedcrochet.com slash slipper cal, that's slipper C-A-L. You can also find that linked in the video description and right here on your screen. Well, let's begin, shall we? All right, so now we're at the point where we can start piecing everything together. We're almost finished. Go ahead and take the top part of your slipper and just get it in position so that it's sitting in the toe. And I know that's the toe because I fastened off at the heel of my slipper. So I'll just align it there, grab my crochet hook and my chunky yarn, and we'll fasten on. Now one little important note here is that you're looking at your slipper like this when you're adding this round. We're gonna make a round, well half a round of single crochets and we want the right side of the stitch to be facing this way. So what I'll do first is stick my hook into that first row and then catch a stitch that's directly next to that. And you can make sure once again that this is aligned in the right way. Then we can place that loop on our hook Pull it through both layers and I'll chain one to fasten it on, but again, that does not count as a stitch. So go ahead and work a single crochet in the same space. Now the idea here is to make one single crochet in every one of the stitches from our sole and we're gonna catch sort of the edge of the row from our top. We'll just work that all the way around until we basically have no more top to work into. Now this target number that you're going for can be found in the written instructions. So for me and this small size, I'm gonna evenly space 30 stitches. Now again, I wanna be sure that I'm not missing any stitches on the sole and just work one single crochet in each one of those. And once you make it back around to your other side, we can go ahead and fasten off. Now with your slipper facing this way, find the place where your top started or ended, and then we're gonna find the next stitch over from that and fasten on our chunky yarn. We need to add a little bit of height to the back part of our slipper so they stay in place. We'll chain one, which will not count as a stitch, and we'll go ahead and half double crochet in that same space. And we'll work one half double crochet until we get all the way over to this side in that very last stitch. Then when you make it to that last stitch, we'll chain one, we'll turn it, and work one more row. So that chain one does not count as a stitch. So I'll half double crochet in that first stitch and then one into each remaining stitch. Then once you finish that up, we can go ahead and fasten off. Now before we move on to the last step and those finishing touches, we'll take the tail from our top here and we just need to secure it to the edge. And then we'll repeat that for the other side. Once we have our top all situated, we're ready to grab our pip squeak yarn. We're gonna fasten on here in the heel. You can do so in any stitch. We'll chain one to fasten it on, but that won't count as a stitch and this time we're gonna work with half double crochets. So we'll go ahead and half double crochet in the same stitch. And we'll half double crochet in every stitch until we get to the end of the round and we'll join with a slip stitch to our first stitch there. Now 
And when you get to the point where you've reached your top, so I made my last half double crochet in the side, then I'll just skip right over and make half double crochet in the first stitch of the top. And then continue on with one half double crochet in each stitch of the top until I get to the end, and then I can just work back into those side stitches once again. Now at the end of this round, I can join with the slip stitch to my first half double crochet and just do the best you can here. I know you can't really see the stitches that well. The good thing about fuzzy yarn is that it's really forgiving if you make a mistake. Basically, you can't see them. So we're gonna work one more round in half double crochet. So chain one, which won't count as a stitch, and then insert your hook into that same place and work a half double crochet and just continue working around. Again, doing the best that you can to not drop stitches or not add too many. Again, you can use that little trick if you look down and see basically that little notch where it goes up. You can follow that up, pretty much find your stitch right away. When you finish up that round, we can go ahead and fasten off. Now we have just one more finishing touch to go. You'll go ahead and make two cuts of scrap yarn of your chunky yarn, and we'll put that aside. That's going to hold our palms together. And then if you have a pom-pom maker, this is gonna be the best way to go. This is the smallest pom-pom maker that Clover offers, and I find it really easy to use. But if you don't have one of these, you can very easily use your fingers or a fork. The last thing we're gonna do is attach our palms to the front part of our slipper. So what I like to do is jump down to this next very obvious row. Now we know this is actually two rows of single crochet, but we're jumping down here and we just wanna eyeball it and find the center. Now go ahead and take your darning needle and run it in through the inside and then just pull that tight and you can let it go and we'll thread the opposite side and put that in just the next stitch over. Now we don't wanna pull it all the way. We do want to have a little bit of slack so it will kind of lay and dangle. But from here, we can go ahead and take those two tails and just tie a knot. When that knot is nice and secure, we can trim it off. Now I left this first one a little bit longer, so when I attach the second one, I'll make this one a little shorter so they hang offset from each other. And I'll attach it in roughly the same place. 